This is my super simple alternative to decelerons. Um, they're also called duckerons, drag boards. Uh, well, I call them drag boards. Uh, drag rudders, another name for them, or um, oh, what else? Wedge air brakes. Uh, it's just a simple board on the underside of an elevon or an aileron for a flying wing design or a tailless design. And um, as you can see, it only activates. Um, or it only has any effect when the elevon goes up. Uh, so for the inside wing, and this is the wing that has less drag during a turn because uh, it uh, is producing less lift than the down-going elevon. Um, so uh, uh, the result is adverse drag in an aircraft without a design like this. Um, so yeah, you can see that it creates a little wedge air brake um, when the elevon goes up. Okay, very simple. Um, essentially, it does what a duckeron does or a deceleron, just creating a little wedge at the tip of the wing, creating a little bit more drag to offset drag coming from the other side. Now, of course, this um, doesn't have any actuation. Um, it's purely um, a part of the elevon. So. Um, it will activate any time, obviously, that the wing pitches up, which means that, uh, or that the, uh, sorry, the elevon pitches up, which means that it will also take effect when um, you're just trying to climb, if, if you have a pitch up moment. Um, but I believe that that's a very minor problem because, um, well, for one thing, it doesn't affect the aircraft's control because you're getting it on both sides. And during a pitch up moment, you're only deflecting the elevon a small amount. Um, so if, like me, you require very large elevons for perhaps, in my case, it's a, a low-speed design, um, requires very large elevons with very large control throws, and you're getting a lot of adverse yaw, um, you might want to look into something like this. It's just super simple, and, um, uh, I mean, you can literally throw it onto your model in uh, less than an hour. Um, Okay, so we'll take a look right now at this aircraft prior to having these installed. Um, on the uh, high altitude shots, you'll see that there's uh, just really crummy turns, a lot of waggling. Um, it, it's just no good, especially in my case for a drone and a drone that carries a camera. Um, it's it's uh, needed to be improved. Um, so we'll take a quick look at that and pay special attention to the landing at the end of the sequence where you'll see that it's uh, just very difficult. It's yawing all over the place. Anybody who's flown tailless design at low speed coming in for a landing um, can probably sympathize with uh, how crummy this looks. Uh, so the, this is the first sequence of onboard video. All right, pretty bad. And uh, now we'll look at what the aircraft is like with this system in place. Uh, again, we have uh, high altitude stuff, just showing uh, I did a whole bunch of silly high bank turns and uh, just to show off uh, the lack in this case of uh, adverse yaw. And then we'll see the landing sequence where it's really, really a nice landing where it looks like I'm leading with a rudder, which of course doesn't exist. It's just that uh, the system is helping out.
All right, that's it. I hope this can uh, help anybody else who has uh, is having problems with their um, tailless design. And uh, let me know if it's uh, helped you or if you have any input, uh, perhaps even simpler ways to cure adverse yaw in a wingless design that requires large control throws. Thanks a lot.